Welcome to this edition of Backstage Pass with Leah Chang. I'm your host, Leah Chang. Today I'm at the Pearl River Mart Gallery with Arlen Huang. Arlen Huang is an artist based in New York. His work is characterized by its play with translucency and opacity, darting between a wide variety of mediums, including acrylic paint, glass, and multimedia installations. His abstractions are informed by the conflation of recent and collective memory, as well as everyday life. For example, his free-handed paintings reference his mother's Chung Sams and grapes harvested at only certain times of the year in Japan. Taken together, his work probes the possibility of Asian Americanness, or the feeling of belonging amidst feelings of placelessness. As an active member in Godzilla Asian American Arts Network and the Chinatown-based Collective Basement Workshop, Arlen has been a key player in broadening opportunities for Asian Americans in the arts and Asian American activism. His murals have dotted various public spaces in New York, and he has placed permanent installations in New York and San Francisco. For nearly six decades, the Chinese-American artist and activist has amassed a significant collection of paintings, photographs, drawings, and more from art swaps or friendly exchanges between fellow artists that operated outside traditional transactions. Just Between Us is the fully illustrated exhibition catalog for the group exhibition at Pearl River Mart Soho on view through August 27th. Arlen also has a solo exhibition of his abstract paintings on view at Chelsea Market through May 31st called Corridor Glance. I sat down with Arlen to discuss the inspiration behind his exhibitions. Hi Arlen. Hi Leo. Happy Asian American, Native Hawaiian and Pacific Islander Heritage Month. Thank you. What was the inspiration for this particular exhibition? Well, uh, about four, five, maybe six years ago, um, um, a, a Asian American historian was at my studio and, and I blurted out that my art is more Asian American than it's ever been. And the minute I said that, I said, why did I say that? I don't even know what that means. <laughs> so ever since I've been trying to figure that out and it, uh, it culminated with uh, asking Howie Chen and Daniel Wu to help me put this show together. You're all in this show. Yes. So this show is about us and is by us and for us. Um, I see through Asian American eyes. Uh, for the uh, for the 20th century artists that are here. <laughs> uh, this show is for us to bear witness that we were there. Uh, we fought a lot of causes, we fought against each other, and we celebrated and cried uh, together. Uh, and we're still here. Yes. For the 21st century artists, for you young kids, this show is for you to take measure. Uh, you can embrace it, you can reject it, it's all good. The only ask is for you to raise the bar for the next generation. Yeah. Yeah. In the gallery, there is an art of Asian American connectiveness, which spans six generations. Um, in this, in this, in this gallery, there are people who are who are very close to my heart, and I keep them in my heart. Chris Ajima, Fei Chu Matsuda, Fei Chang, Takashi Yanagida, PJ, Alfredo Hernandez, Saul Lewitt, Tony Wong, Martin Wong, and Corky Lee. And Yosho Kish. We have history. We stand on rich earth. Hi, I'm Arlen Huang, and we're here at 
Pearl River Mart in Soho in their art space. And we're going to be taking a tour on this show called Just Between Us. And we begin here actually with uh, Squid Frames. This is 1980. And these are the guys that, that helped us move Squid Frames. And this is a, a portrait of Carl and myself. We were partners then. And uh, we have been at Squid Frames for 40 years. It's an arc of Asian American connectivity which spans six generations. Uh, the first generation is here. This is my grandfather's menu from uh, his restaurant in Bangor, Maine in 1926. Uh, next to him is a, a crate label of uh, oranges from California. And this was a, a Chinese owned orchard and his name was Charles Gim. Um, when I was a kid, my mother and grandmother would always talk about these, these oranges, which were the sweetest oranges for Chinese New Year's. And they would also say, they would always say, oh, you got to get the chali gim cha, chali gim cha. Always that, you know. I said, what is that, man? And one day, I was in my grandmother's basement, and I saw this crate. And the crate had this label on it. And this is chali gim oranges. Sweet Edison oranges. Uh, next we go to uh, Yellow Pearl. Um, this is when my life really changed when I, I went to the anti-war march and this is 1970, 1970. And the first thing I looked for is the Asian Coalition banner. And of course there was one. And that's how I got to meet many of the young radicals during that time. This is, a, this is a picture taken by uh, Victor Huey and is, is a historical photograph. There are so many people from the movement in this photograph. And this led to basement workshop. And this is uh, 54 Elizabeth, the first basement workshop. And this is, this is uh, of course, myself and Lillian Ling, uh, who became uh, or my wife. Below is 54 Elizabeth with uh, uh, other members of Yellow Pearl. Uh, that's Fei Chu, Lydia Tom, Takashi Yanagida, and the back is Lisa Abe. One of my big influences in art in my right from the beginning was my mother's best friend, Edith Liu. And of course, in Chinese, you know, she's auntie. So she was always, we always called her by her Chinese name, and it was O Ying Gu. She was the one that always encouraged me to do art. Um, she was probably one of the biggest influences in my life, including my mom. Uh, this is O Ying Gu's watercolor. And this is a letter she sent me when she was very, very ill. This is a photo of Faye Chang by Henry Chu. Uh, Faye is, is the heart and soul of basement for so many years. And this is the most joyous picture that I've ever seen of Faye. This is a poster here of the first Yellow Pearl concert. Uh, of course, it doesn't have the date, but it was 1971. And the poster was done by uh, Alan Okada. This would kind of move forward when, um, when life became much more political and a, a bunch of us were uh, sort of working with these uh, uh, radical communist groups. Uh, for this one group, uh, a few of us were, were in the, uh, the, uh, the culture committee and what we basically did was did posters for them. Yeah, and this is a poster by John Wu. Uh, it was part of a, of a poetry reading uh, session they had at uh, 99, 199 Lafayette, another iteration of, of Basement Workshop. This one poster is uh, posted by Pietro Petri, and the image is of Jessica Hagedornina, and the one on the left is uh, Colin Lee. So that, that's a photo that he's taken from his father's negatives. Now his father, Kim Lee, was the photo photographer of San Francisco Chinatown. Mm. Every family had their, their photos taken by, by him. 
Uh, so this was part of a John Wu production at Basement Workshop. It was a series of, I can't remember how many artists, but it was all silk screens and they were all put into a box. Mm. And the next one next to Nina is uh, uh, Leland Wong, uh, one of the greatest silk screeners coming from San Francisco Chinatown. And this one is of uh, uh, the Nihomachi Street Fair. And he did essentially all the street fairs for, uh, I guess, around 27 years. Uh, the, the, the little portrait here, uh, Lily and I did for our thank you cards for uh, our wedding. So she drew me and I drew her. And the, the postcard there is from uh, uh, my friend, the artist Saul LeWitt. And that is a uh, postcard f for the birth of our first son, Ray wow. Wong. And, and this little colorful vertical is a painting by Ray in 1986. He was about uh, five years old. Wow. And this is, oh, there's a little glass piece on top of this corky leaf photo. And that wasn't one of Joey's glass pieces. Hmm. So this is the family section right yeah, here? Yeah, this is the family section. This is a photo by another good friend, Henry Lau. Uh, we call him Uncle T. And so when we did this show at the, the Bari Poetry, Poetry Club, Ray took that photo and did that the invitation. Yes, yeah, so this, this show in this space is uh, sponsored and organized by Pearl River Mart and Think Chinatown. Think Chinatown uh, has a pretty big role in this. Uh, we're going to have a, uh, a book talk there on May 24th. Pearl River also has a, a store and a food store at the uh, Chelsea Market. In the beginning, Joanne, who is the president of the company, said, you know, we should do a show at, uh, at, at uh, Chelsea also because she's on the board of the entire uh, walkway there. And she says, there's spaces there, there's, um, there's columns, and they're doing something with the outdoor tables. I saw that. And that was very exciting for the artists yes. whose work is on those outside tables. Yes. I get an email from Danielle saying that, well, she works for A4. Uh, and she said, uh, Lisa Goat, who's the director of A4, said, uh, Danielle, you can work on it as part of your job, and A4 oh. will do the installation. So they said, you know, what if we uh, romanticize? Let's turn the lights, and let's make them red, let's turn up, down the lights. And, um, and she said, you know, this actually kind of looks like in the mood for love. Mm -hmm. the, the type of lighting, the, the shadows. Mm -hmm. So we just, yeah, we took off on that. Okay. So that, that little nook is really not about the paintings, it's about the mood. <laughs>
installations, uh, and, all, and all kind of things. I mean, I personally always encourage artists to change mediums, uh, especially change mediums that you don't know anything about. Because when you enter a new medium, in, it is fresh. And uh, you don't have any of the baggage. And you can just boom. Whoa. Oh. Okay, thank you. Right, here we go. Come on, let's eat.